Hi there, this is Shazim from Shazim Creations. Today, I'm going to share with you how to draw or make flower in Photoshop. Let's get started. Open Photoshop software and go to file menu and click on the new or hold press ctrl or command n i am selecting the width and height 1920 and 1080 pixel and resolution 300 pixel per inch click on the create i am going to select mouse right click and okay uh, first i am selecting the ellipse tool hold press shift key and drag on it for nicely circle of the ellipse tool okay select the fill i'm selecting the fill yellow and stroke 4.68 or 4 select pen tool click on the just one click and create new layer Now go to path, hold press control key and select, select the path and now hold press B or select the brush tool, select the orange color, just click on this, this fill path with foreground color, drag and drop it down. Uh, now this this time select hold press control key and select the path and go to again go to the path layer select the color black and now select brush tool brush tool decrease the brush point opacity 100% and flow 100% and click on this and click here to outline something more increase ok now select the pen tool and mouse right click and deselect the path and delete the path now again go to layers layers panel and hold press ctrl or command t for transform now now see the anchor point if uh, you didn't find this anchor point in your photoshop so just click on this click on here to to on and off your anchor point just check box of this anchor point icon and hold this anchor point set center after set set the anchor point center then rotate your flower petal something left or or right okay this area is okay now press enter from your keyboard and now hold press alter control shift t for nicely place the flower petal this is nice tricks hold press shift key hold press ctrl key and select all of the layer and now hold press ctrl t for transform ok again create a new layer under the layer 1 and select the pen tool and go to path select the color green 
mouse right click and delete the path now again create new layer under the layer 2 mouse right click and delete path create again new layer under the layer 3 and select the color now go to again go to paths and click on the foreground fill the color top of the layer and create a new layer and rename the layer name heading select the brush tool hold press alter key and take a sample of the green color Again, create a new layer for shadow. Opacity and flow 30%. Now, take a new layer and hold press P or select the pen tool first uh, right mouse right click and delete the path select the foreground color select the foreground color okay this one go to paths more dark need to more dark now it's uh, now it's okay Okay, take a ellipse tool, select the ellipse tool and go to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur. Okay, first uh, mouse right click of the ellipse tool and click on the rasterize layer. Now go to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur. blur radius select 15 pixels then click on the ok now hold press ctrl or command t for select the select this shadow and drag and drop it under this this flower flower top select the uh, healing layer and again select the brush tool select the foreground color black and some opposite and flow 100 percent and randomly some click to make some point inside okay uh, now select the healing tools and hold press shift key and click on the bottom of 
click on the down layer for selecting all of the layer now hold press ctrl G for group ctrl T for transform and you can make your flower increase or decrease or place anywhere one mistake I need to make leaves of this flower so <coughs> so uh, select the bottom of the layer and make a new layer and again select the pen tool now go to now go to path and select the color green and click on the ok and here click on this fill foreground mouse right click and direct the path again mouse right click and delete the path ok now go to file menu and click on the save or save as select here save as file type png and uh, I am I rename the file name flower or orange flower click on the save if you want to save this flower as transparent background so of the background white background layer and save this image or save this flower as png click on the save and and here it is see the flower with transparent background and it's fully vector type of the flower i hope this video helped you and i hope you like my video if you like this video so please share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for any updates thanks for watching and thanks for supporting me thank you see you next tutorial